It's a mercy you weren't harmed physically. Or worse. It's the mental scars you have to watch out for, really. Especially after what happened to your vein. I'll give you scars if you carry on. Hey, in broad daylight and all. I mean, you're not safe in your own room. Bob, could you pick up the kids from nursery later? Oh, well, I would, but... Only I haven't slept, and, and an hour just to flock would be great. Any other day, Viv, but I promised I'd give Hazel a lift to the hospital. Jackson's getting his results. Oh, please, Bob, I don't mean to be unsympathetic. No, 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 you don't know, but it's make or break for him. Apparently, they're finding out if his brain's got the all clear or not. Oh, right. Yeah, she's gonna need all the support she can get. I can't just tell her to get on with it, can I? No. I'm sorry. Beep, 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 me. Right, you old gosh. You can buy me lunch for that. Yeah, fair enough. The hangover hunger's kicking in anyway. <laughs> and you can tell me all about last night while we're at it. No, I'm sorry, but you know the rules. What goes on in town stays in town. So, this is where it happens. Sorry, can I help? S sorry, this is my partner. Business partner. Rona, this is Sophie. Sorry I'm late. Uh, we got chatting last night and Sophie knows all the words to Copacabana. I bet she does. Anyway, are you right? I'm starving. Did we say today? Well, it's what you put on your business card. You don't mind, do you? Why should I? I just didn't want to take the mic work-wise, I No, go for it. Enjoy. My legs seem to have eased up a bit now. Adam's taking her for a walk. And I spoke to Andy. He's going to run things today. Right. And um, we need to get her tested. In case she's caught anything. God, it just makes you want to be sick. Could take months for something to show up, wouldn't it? <sighs> I can't believe we're having this conversation about our own daughter. Can't stop thinking about it. It's been going on in my head all night. Right. So what do we do now? Take her back to the clinic? What's the point? Even with methadone, she'll still take anything she can get her hands on, won't she? Yeah, but she might need a bigger dose or something. It's obviously not working. And she was on it when she... Sold herself. If that's how far she'll go for a proper hit, what's the point? There's nothing else we can do. We can't afford rehab. We can't go on like this, can we? We need to be tough with her now. We need to force her to go cold turkey. Oh, my God, I've actually just been told off by Will's school. It was five minutes late. That's disgraceful. You need an ASBO. And now I'm getting red reminders for someone who's already in prison. Look, the sooner you're out of here, it's going to begin to get better. Six months, a year down the line. If I can wait that long. Still no offers, then? One viewing. And even they cancelled. Well, my offer's still on the table. Don't know if that's any help. Thank you. But it's Nathan's call as well. Yeah. Well, whoever you sell it to, you better do it quick. Because the longer you wait, the more miserable you're going to be. That's not good for you or Will. What else isn't good for our family? I'm intrigued. I'm not doing the hard sales, just some friendly advice. Right, well, we don't need it. Same as we don't need your money. Fine. I'll stay out of it. Come on. Why does it matter if he gets it? It's a matter of principle. Look, he's not going to have it. Not after what he's done. So you're going to make us all miserable just to prove a point? I'm not going to undersell any of us. I promise you, I'll get a better deal. Please believe me. Well, I would have thought it was uh, M. 
normally. Only I suppose he's got a lot on his mind at the moment. Well, I think that's a little insensitive, considering you can't just go around accusing people of theft. Well, somebody did it. And I'll tell you something else and all. I'm keeping that back door locked this afternoon. I'm sure. Heaven forbid anything should come between you and Midsummer Murders. I don't think you're taking this seriously enough, Sandy. You're never going to believe this. Why, what's happened? He got the results. All clear. Well, his brain is, anyway. That's brilliant. They're going to move him to a spinal unit. I, mean, I know I shouldn't build me hopes up. It doesn't mean he's going to walk again. But he hasn't got brain damage. No, thank God. It's just when it's the first bit of good news you've had in ages. I know. It must be a weight off for everyone. <sighs> Just for one step closer to getting my boy back. I'm going to have to put the rest of the stuff in the caravan. There's no room upstairs. Looks like a squat up there. What are the other two going to think, seeing her like that? She's going to be in agony for weeks. It's the only way we're going to save her. Well, how do we know that? We thought we were bringing up right, didn't we? Or the best we could? We're doing the right thing, trust me. To the chemist yet? Is it time? I could take it down there if you want. Uh, no, I, I phoned them. They said late afternoon. God. Well, why don't you um, go and have another walk round, eh? You're going to feel better than sitting around here, aren't you? Yeah, there's nothing we can do till then. something last night, because you bundled us out of there the minute her back was turned. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'll tell you something. When you have waxed as many metrosexuals as I have, it makes a change to meet a real man. Well, he's been accused of some things in his time, but never that. Shut, shut up, sorry. Hold on. Uh, Sophie owns a hair and beauty salon. Oh, well, I'm not your next victim, are you? <laughs> Could say the same about your cooking. <laughs> All right, all right. It's good to see you back. How are you? Um, I'm all right, you know. You, uh, you still working with Nathan? Sorry, hi. Listen, you might not have to worry about that for too much longer. What do you mean? I've got to run, but uh, we'll talk soon, yeah? He does his own eyebrows so that'll save you a job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you smoke gas? No. What? So, why, why the face? Is that for me or something? Mm. Rona, I was going to come and find you. Can hamsters hibernate? You're being paranoid. I'm, listen, I got the message, OK, about staying out your way, but you're not exactly making it easy, Rona. Marlon, you're... we're going to bump into each other. What? I wish we wouldn't. One minute it's come here, the next it's go away. I'll get Diane to serve you. Yeah. <sighs> what have I done now? Oh, it doesn't mean it. It's all just a bit raw at the moment. Look, I know he's your mate and everything, but I have really tried hard to do the right thing by him. Which he will come to realise. <sighs> Look where it gets you. <laughs> Mom! Well, you're going to be all right, OK? Just sit down there. Mom! What's what? the matter? Is she OK? I'm really sorry about everything. I mean it. We know you are. But please. I just need to go now, please. OK, well, um, let's get you cleaned up first, right, and get all this muck off you. And then can we go? Yeah, we'll uh, run you a nice hot bath and you'll feel a lot better after that. Come on. Dad, she's in a bad way. Oh, I could feel her shaking. John! I've got to go. I'm sorry, son. 